you guys want to see something cool? Do you want to see some magic? Stay tuned, please. Um, I really hope that you enjoy this video. I have always seen and noticed that when new tarot card readers read, there's a magical element to it. So I hope you enjoy it. Hi, everyone. As you can see, I have a full screen of people. Everybody wave. Hi. <laughs> this is going to be a really special, wonderful, wonderful video. I hope you really enjoy that. The goal today is that I have um, quite a few readers here that are brand new. And I have experienced in my lifetime watching a new tarot card reader, we get to watch in real time the light illuminate from them, their, their beginnings, their, their, their magic, their absolute magic. And so what we're going to do here today is we're going to introduce everybody, and then I've put everybody in a team, and we're going to answer some political questions. And uh, we're going to definitely enjoy ourselves here. So what I'm going to do is unmute myself, and we're going to start with Jeannie. Uh, what they're going to do is introduce themselves. They're going to let us know who taught them, what classes they they uh, attended, and so on. If they've written a book, all that good stuff. And about a, about a minute each. So go ahead, Jeannie. Hi, I'm Jeannie from Four Paws Acupuncture. I have a YouTube channel, Four Paws Acupuncture, and a website, Four Paws Acupuncture. I'm a licensed acupuncturist, an herbalist, an animal empath. I treat animals and people with holistic medicine and acupuncture. Um, I talk to animals, I work with animal spirits, and every day I pull an oracle card for from a message from our pets who've crossed over the rainbow uh, to give us every day. Um, and I wrote the book, Barkopedia, Everything Your Dog Wants You to Know. It's on Amazon, and Sheila featured it on her channel one time. And I took the tarot class from Laurie of our, the way of positive change. I just took the recent one. It was wonderful. I highly recommend it. And um, I'm so excited to be here. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you've changed your name. Is You're Denise, right? Yeah, you changed your name. I go by D at Alloway Girl, 1967. <laughs> That's how they'll know me on YouTube anyway, so. I yes, and also if you've had a recent reading with uh, one of our YouTubers, especially people that I've had on my channel, please announce that you've had a reading and if it was wonderful. Don't go into it too much, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'm D, brand new, um, but not brand new to being intuitive, being an empath. Um, I've always had a knowing. Um, people come to me for advice, but you know, you don't know why, right? But it always sounds good when it comes out and it works for them. So I'm happy for that. Um, so no training. Um, I did have a reading with Lena last night. Um, had two past life regressions. Totally awesome. Very interesting. And uh, looks like I'll be able to track some of that down. So I'll be uh, following up with that. And then... Um, my book that I've written is this, all that I've learned from every one of my favorite YouTube channels that I watch. And I will tell you the very first person I watched was Susan Lynn. She caught my attention when she was talking about Clarence Thomas and Ginny getting caught. That laid it out for me. I was hooked and following all you guys, right? So here we go. I'm so excited to be here and uh, blessed. So thank you. Thank you so much. And Sherry? Hello. I'm Sherry. I'm from Colorado. Um, I, like you, always knew I had a gift and a knowing. Um, I've always wanted to do tarot, but I'm always taking care of everybody else. And so now I'm taking care of me and 
I want to learn and I'm honored to be here with pros and people of channels and Sheila. Thank you. Learn from the best. Um, I did do tarot once and that was get this right before the pandemic because my granddaughter has always been interested. And so I was kind of living vicariously through her and we got her a deck of cards and we came home and laid them out. She was getting ready to start junior high. So we did a layout and it wasn't good. It wasn't great because the pandemic was coming that she was going to be separated from her friends and whatnot. But anyways, but it would be OK in the end. So that's an interesting first uh, tarot. And this will be my second. So I'm a baby. And hello. It's nice to meet everybody. And thank you. Thank you, Sherry, for being here. Did you take any classes from anybody? No. Nope. No. OK, cool. That's yeah. fine. I, the magic is there. I, it's yeah. All all good all right yeah um is this clarity tarot deck is that what it says on your yes. thing yes thank you for having me uh it's available on amazon we're going into the second printing russia just uh purchased the language rights so it'll be in russian um my next book is launching um in august 28th called decode tarot and it's how i read and teaching what I know and what I've learned. I do have a, a video course that's uh, at training.growyourlight.com. My video uh, YouTube channel is at Grow Your Light with Deborah Zaka. And what else have I got? Oh, I'm writing another book. I keep at the end of everything I've created, like this deck, and then that next book, I think I'm never going to write another book. <laughs> it's so hard at the end. But uh, then I got right back on it. What else do um, now? What I teach, what I teach is what I've learned because there's a big gap between getting your first deck, learning the basics, and then going pro. So I just jumped in to um, some psychic hotlines to create speed and accuracy. And then I hit on a really, really good site. And so I've done nearly uh, 11,000 readings, but I vetted all that I put in the book. And in the video course, I have vetted those combinations with hundreds and hundreds of readings for that particular topic. So it's unique, it's different. And boy, I, I really... <laughs> bring and brag I'm sorry but I I just love this craft and I love the people in it I started my YouTube channel about a year ago and I just love everyone on it admired you Sheila and um Alice L Alice you became a member of my site last night during uh Lalit's uh, Lalit and I we go on every Friday but I uh, appreciate you inviting me to the group Thank you. Well, you're welcome. So we have some experience to draw from, right? Exactly. <laughs> uh, Claudia. <gasps> Meowdy. It is I, Cat Mama Meow from the Do Drop In, otherwise known as Claudia. Hello. So happy to be here. Uh, let's see. All right. So I do have a YouTube channel. It's called Cat Mama Meow's Do Drop In. And I think as of last night, I had 122 um, followers. So yeah, or subscribers. Um, I, on my channel, I, so I did take a tip. I paid for a tarot class with Johnny from Tarot's Apprentice. And I went to the first class and then I just got just off track, you know, with other stuff. And I never did go back and finish them. Um, but, um, so I don't, I haven't done tarot yet, but I do do, um, div divining rods, my beautiful copper divining rods and pendulums. And I have uh, a, a mini library of Oracle cards. Uh, let's see now books. I have three books that, um, it's the same book, but it's in, published um in english french and spanish and i also have the japanese and thai versions but i don't have them um out available yet 
but um, it is called On the Wings of a Pig. This is the English version. And essentially, the two main things about this book, it's the kind of book I wish I would have had as a kid. And I've had adults tell me this as well. Um, it's a body positive book, which is really important for people, especially children. Um, and also, it's a law of attraction book without using the term law of attraction, because I didn't want to I didn't want to label it because I didn't want to turn off parents who think that law of attraction is woo woo stuff. So if you just learn, if you just get the the lessons in it, you will be learning the law of attraction as a child. So um, and it's in uh, the Spanish one is um, en las alas de um, ser en la sa oh girl Alice that's okay honey we're we're trying to keep it down to about a oh, minute oh, one sorry. minute sorry. anyway so okay so you asked I'm sorry you asked um um who um I've had uh or who we've had uh, personal readings with I've 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 had a lot of uh one on one um paid readings like um I've had at least three with Linda G, um, Lena Rodriguez, Dave Johnson. That was a quantum healing. The one with Lena was a, a past life regression. Uh, Gina Lab Labry, Strawberry Rhubarb, Jana Seeker. Several people I've actually paid and have personal readings with, and I love them all. And I have an appointment with Linda G again, and I'm trying to get an appointment with Sterling. Um, I went to the uh, trip to uh, New Orleans with um, Susan Lynn and Jen Buckman a couple of years ago. And also last year to the Shasta retreat with Danny Shea and Kim Copeland and Alice and Kelly um, Scarborough and a whole bunch of other lovely, wonderful people. So I'm in it, man. I'm in it. And I do what I do want to add tarot to my uh, list of things I can do. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six decks and they're good. all really different good good so you have your decks with your your tarot deck with you okay cool, cool. i have all six of them all right fantastic and uh, louise just joined us um if you want to go ahead and put on put yourself on camera that would be awesome before we go on and we'll try to keep it down to a, a, a minute just to give it a, a brief because we got a lot of people here well louise will come back um angela it's your turn. Okay. Um, I've been reading tarot cards for about 50 years. Been over it. I've never taken a course. I read playing cards. I read oracle cards. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's Cardamancy Mesquite. I'm currently teaching a class in um, reading playing cards because not many people do that. And I, I thought it would be fun. And um, I do pretty much everything. Um, I do remote viewing, military, and I took Whimsy's course. Um, I've had a reading with um, Scott Allen. And I had my channel for a while, but I've just really gotten into it lately it's not been you know it's been hit or miss until just recently and now i'm really going into it and i do um readings tarot and um playing card and oracle readings but i also do survival videos for normal people and that's pretty much what i do fantastic another veteran <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Alice. Hi, everybody. So happy to be here. So what I do is uh, I assist Kim Copeland on um, an angel circle that we have every other Wednesday. Uh, I assist her along with um, Kelly uh, Skolbro as uh, the mystic next door. We have lots of fun with that. And... Um, uh, I also met um, Claudia, you, on two different um, uh, retreats, which was lovely. Uh, just so exciting to to meet you guys in person. So fun to 
see each other. Um, I took a class with uh, Tarot Apprentice. It, yeah, Tarot Apprentice. And that was one of my classes. Also, I have taken quite a few classes with Kim Copeland, pretty much mediumship. And I was extremely surprised when I was the winner of a reading with Violetta. <laughs> and that was a that was a wonderful, <laughs> that was a wonderful surprise. I also have a collection of angel oracle cards. And I think I have a couple of um, I have at least three tarot cards that I've that I've accumulated. Um, and I also ordered Deborah's uh, book that's coming up in August. I pre-ordered it. So I'm excited about that, Deborah. And thank you. So I can continue on. And um, that's pretty much it. Well, thank you, Alice. I've met Alice face to face mm -hmm. at the retreat. <laughs> that was fun. So yes, much fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't know who, who did we lose? I don't know. We lost somebody. Somebody dropped out. I don't know who it was. Anyhow, um, Gigi? Let me unmute. Hi, uh, my name is Gigi. Um, I'm a retired educator and I'm new to the Tarot. Uh, I've been interested in Tarot, I guess maybe since about 2016, but I've always been told that I was psychic, you know, by family and friends. So they would always ask me advice. Um, I took two classes uh, with Johnny, Terrell's apprentice. I took a beginner's uh, class and then um, the advanced class that ended in March. Um, I've been su subscribed to YouTube Sheila for about maybe two, at least two years plus. And uh, I've had, you know, several readings with psychics with, you know, that we all know, but I'm not going to name them right now. But uh, I would consider myself um, very new to Tarot, although I tease with Johnny and tell him I'm trying to catch up with him on his collections of Tarot cords. He's got about 300. I've got 30. So I told him I've got about a tenth of what he has right now. So that's me. Wonderful. I know I, I, I also have a few. <laughs> <laughs> we start a collection we just never end <laughs> right, I know. all right leslie and it was christine i think we lost um she's having problems so if she comes back she comes back if not if not so i am new to tarot as i said um during lockdown i did take a nine-month course on developing your intuition and mediumship um, I'm also certified as a meditation teacher, as well as certified in feng shui. I'm an interior designer by trade. Um, and I've had readings with Sheila and with Jeffrey Peck and Debbie Freebird and uh, Kim also uh, into a few. So I'm just happy to be here and see what happens. Thank you, thank you. And then we have Liz, who's in Kosovo. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I am uh, still in doubt in trying to get over my doubt of what my gifts are. Um, 20, 30 years ago, I worked as a therapist, uh, as pastoral counselor, hospital chaplain, and then secular therapist but discovered that I had a lot of intuitive gifts that gave me information that wasn't presented to me and helped people move forward, mostly through soul healing. That seemed to be something that came to me uh, through spirit a long time ago. I also seem to have the ability, not I seem, I do have the ability of, of people coming to me when they're dying and need help. I help them cross. And then I also um, know when people are going to die. If I see somebody walking down the street, I know they don't have long. And uh, people after they've died have come to me uh, with messages. And I'm learning to listen and accept and realize that this is for real for me. And it happens to a lot of people, but I'm grateful it happens to me. 
Um, I've gotten very good at the pendulum reading. Uh, we have a lost tourist on our island. And so far I was able to pinpoint the two places that he was at, but I'm also getting that he's no longer living. Um, but my pendulum, I, it seems to be really on target for me. Um, I've been practicing with tarot cards and sometimes it scares me how true it is. <laughs> um, Sheila was my first. <laughs> I just adore her. Um, I feel very, very fond of her, very grateful to her, and I trust her the most. Um, at first, when Trump first came into the picture, I was totally freaked out because I kept seeing Putin scowling. Um, I have a very connection, strong connection with uh, that part of the world because of my Hungarian background. And uh, Navalny came to me the day he died with messages. And so that kind of thing happens to me. Um, I was overindulgent in reading and listening to a whole bunch of readers and have learned to narrow them down. So I really, really appreciate people like Lena and uh, Magister Tarot from, Mar uh, from um, Australia. I still uh, really listen to... Uh, um, Kim Copeland. Um, I took a mediumship class with her. I really love that area of work. And I love uh, uh, Nancy D. Gonzalez did a Akashic record for me. Uh, Tanis McCoughlin did a huge healing and gave me a uh, self Reiki treatment, uh, self Reiki class that has helped me grow. And um, I'm continuing with Medium Kim to take more of the mediumship classes. That seems to be where my strength is. But I feel like I need to go beyond and listen to the, what the direction, where the direction leads me to. Um, I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night with my voice being called and was told to write a book. Um, entitled uh, If You Only Knew, and I don't know where to take that yet, um, but I'm waiting for more information, and I um, am looking forward to uh, doing a lot more physical healing. Um, I've experienced huge uh, health crises since my pacemaker failed, and they couldn't pick up, and it gave me uh, cardiac insufficient uh, uh, heart failure and uh, then I it got adrenal insufficiency and then I got POTS and so that's why you see my head on a pillow because I can't stand up for very long without collapsing but I'm overcoming it all but every day is a miracle and people pop in at just the right moment and I've gone through a process of needing to let go of family members that were toxic and extremely painful. And as I do that, uh, it's magical how the energy just opens up to new avenues. Yes. And so we live on a magical island. It's an island of Maya energy, Ikshel, who is the island of women, uh, where you, people came. Liz, people do you came. have your do you have your tarot cards with you? Yes, you I do. Oh, good, good. So I can't wait to um, get through and, and see what your tarot cards um, say. Because I know you have a big story. I know you do. <laughs> All right, Anna? You're muted, my dear. You're muted. Get a mute. Am I okay now? Okay. Uh, I was saying that I needed to tell myself that this is not the first time that I am in the minority because as a Latina living in the United States, I had already that experience. So I am really the least experienced here. I um, met the tattooed world uh, in February of this year. And I am already like maybe 20 deck. Uh, so at least I am not that different. I am going to take a class with Lori 
at the end of this month. And the day before the class start, I will be having a reading with uh, Lena because Lena was the first tarot deck that I got. And then suddenly I found out that she does the past life. So in my case, uh, the entrance to this world uh, seems to be a sequence of coincidence uh, that are really challenging me because I am really uh, a clinical social worker by trade. I have a PhD. So that's the only book that I have written, my dissertation. So uh, I'm really out of, uh, not necessarily out of tune, but out of my comfort zone. And one of my questions was going to be, do I have to be a psychic to be able to read? Because I really don't have that experience. Uh, and I've been told that it is because I am blocking. I've been told that for a long time. But what I did is that I channeled that by being a therapist. And then later on completing my PhD to be able to teach at universities. But right now I am a 72 years old woman retired. And Unfortunately, at the end, now I am beginning to find a little bit more about myself with the tarot, hopefully. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Um, we're just going to leave Louise where she's at. Um, she, <laughs> she's just listening, apparently. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. So thank you, everyone, um, for introducing yourself and, and giving us a little bit of a synopsis of uh, you and the tarot readings and stuff like that. And I see that we do have a few veterans here that'll help the, the ones that are new. And oh, there you are, Louise. Hi. Hi. Do you want to go ahead and take about a minute to introduce yourself? That's about all I <laughs> that's about all I will be able to take because I am totally new at this. I mean, I have my first tarot deck here. Um it was watching, I was with uh Marina and Sherry, Voices from the Swamp, and a couple others, and you know, I had them do, you know, the mini reading. And Sherry was the one that told me that I needed to get a tarot deck. So, so here we are, right? <laughs> to have so much more. And I'm like, so I don't even know if I should be here. No, of course. You're 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 the reason why this video is being made, honey. Oh, you, okay. are, you and Sherry and whoever else um that is really, really, you know, at the beginning of their of their tarot reading. This is the reason why we're definitely doing this. So um yeah. All right, everyone. So I know that we have myths and some belief systems around uh, doing cards and reading cards and, and being a, a tarot reader or, you know, somebody who, you know, listens to dead people, the people who do pendulums. I, I did my pendulum. I'm, I believe that I'm really good at my pendulum. Well, I tell you what, but I put it on camera and people are like, I can't believe you're doing that. That is so wrong. And I'm like, wow. Right. I was like, that can't be what I hear, right? Like it just can't be what I hear. Um, to the craft, we practice what we do. We really read in it. There's a couple of myths that I come across. Number one, you don't have to memorize all the cards. That's the reason why I love cards with, with words on them. So that help me uh, to remember a, a different perspective of the card and stuff like that. And my intuition kicks in. So you don't have to memorize every single one of the cards. Uh, definitely use something that will help you. Um, number two, uh, you know, you are not, spirit will give you the answer no matter who or what you're thinking about. You ask the question out into the universe and the spirit goes, I got it. And then then you let it go. You don't have to hold your mouth a certain way. You don't have to hold your breath. You don't have to do, you know, just shuffle your cards to the left and shuffle your cards to the right and make it, you know what I mean? And that's all manipulation and stuff like that. Those are a couple of myths that, that I've come across that are just not there. And another thing is, is your style of reading is the right way. Don't ever, ever feel ashamed or embarrassed or anything like that of reading the way you 
want to read the cards. That's the freedom we have in this and in, in this um, metaphysical life and the reading of the cards and how you do it and how you get to the um, connection with spirit and the information. So there's that. Does anybody else have any uh, questions or anything like that about the reading cards? Did I cover it? <laughs> All right, everyone. So we're going to do some political readings. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. So we're going to do team one. This is your political question. Who's on team one? All right. So team one, here's your question, your political question. McCarthy was talking about Matt Gates. Kevin McCarthy kind of spilled the tea on Mr. Matt Gates and the reason why he was ousted as a speaker. He, he was talking about uh, a, an ethics report being open on Matt Gates of sleeping with a 17 year old. Okay. So mm, the question is, how is can Matt Gates doing right now because of what Kevin McCarthy has spilled on him? So go ahead and shuffle your cards, lay them down. Whoever's whoever's got their cards down, I'll call on you and you can do your reading. Deborah, you look like you already have yours down. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead and do your read. You're muted. You're yeah. Thank you. So um, I went behind the curtain and got into his energy. And, you know, he had this. This is the uh, lover's card, which is collaboration, mm -hmm. union. He had, he had an agreement with a lot of people to just simply keep his secret down right it, but it, i've got the reverse 10 of cups which is usually it means upright uh emotionally satisfied and happy and harmonious it's reversed it's totally reversed his wheel of fortune is re reversed and his four oh sorry wheel of fortune means that it's the way the the um, the waves of energy move positive hardship, positive hardship. So that's reverse. It's not doing well. Reversed um, four of swords will mean to me, it means to me that there he's not taking a rest on any of this. He's jumping around. What do I, what do I do? So in the next 30 days or so, the last card indicates he's going to be acting Actually, this is the ace of, of wands. He's actually going to be moved into action. Uh, I'm just going to pull one more card to see what it is. <laughs> and after he decides to declare something or do something, I've got the nine of swords. He's going to be losing sleep over this. So in, in general, he's not doing very well. I remember doing a remote view uh, maybe a year or so ago, and and Matt Gates was flying around in a big, big old, huge bubble, right? And he's just as happy as can be, and he's in this bubble above everybody. And all of a sudden, somebody literally walks over and pops his bubble. Oh, you had a premonition of yeah, exactly how it's gonna do. Oh exactly, God. I was like two, three years ago. I'm Good like, on you. Gonna pop his bubble. <laughs> Good on you. Good on you. And who knew it was gonna be Kevin McCarthy? But all right, who else has their um, cards ready? All right, Jeannie. Okay, I use the uh, Archangel cards and then I pulled one from the Unicorn deck from our perspective, looking into it, okay? So I got the Seven of Gabriel, which is Seven of Wands. Stand up for what you believe in. Well, I'm going to say that's probably coming from McCarthy's point of view because I don't think Matt Gates is going to be able to admit what he believes in because it's not nice. Uh, claim your personal power. Well, we know where he stands with that. Then he got the five of Ariel, which is five of Pentacles. So money's behind him. And it's funny. It says negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy. So I don't think he's feeling too good about himself. And then he got the wheel 
uh, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction. Uh-oh. And then he also got changed from the unicorn card. So I think he's in for a change and we're going to see a big change and hopefully be happy about it. Yeah, we're we're ready for him to move on too. So yeah. says their cards ready? Go ahead and raise your hand. I knew there was another one. With Liz, are you one? Yep. Go for it. You'll have to unmute, my dear. Okay. Um the first card I got out was justice. And that's the outcome card for me. If this, the message was outcome. And so fairness, truth, <clears throat> law and order, a balance and justice served will eventually happen for him. Uh, how he's feeling is the uh, nine of pentacles. He feels like he's got good income, material wealth. He's self-sufficient. He's got luxury. He's got security. Everything is cool with him. He's believing or trying to believe in. Um, he's trying to use creative inspiration, imagination. Wishful thinking is starting to pop in for him. Seven of Cups. But he's got surprises coming and choices to make. And then uh, the petty conflict, why Five of Wands, bickering, irritable group conflict, which obviously he's been having group conflict with McCarthy and several other people in his group in competition for resources, personality clash. That's all going to help bring him to justice and all going to help him break through to the uh, uh, illusion that he's in and the wishful thinking that he's in. But the result will be justice. Sounds good to me. All right, who's next? Is it Louise? I think you're a one. Okay. <laughs> Not really sure where, how to do this, but I have uh, the first card I drew was uh, the death card, um, which is transformation change. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of changes coming. Um, goodbyes say goodbye so yeah i think he's not at least with this card he's not going to be there um secondly um second card was the nine of swords reversed which is opening up self-pity uh malicious gossip breakdown scandal well we already know he's in the, in the scandal and the gossip is pretty bad and yeah, he's really very, very sorry for himself because he got found out. And the third one is the Ace of Cups, um, which is an emotional awakening that he's he's going to finally realize that he's not he's not who he pretends to be. Very nice. Good job. That was really good. <laughs> so Thank yeah, you. I do. Like, like <laughs> no, you did good. You good. Good. Good job. So yeah, I mean, I pu I pulled on on this question as well, and I got the page of swords and the page of um the page of swords and the seven of swords. So the page of swords is that immature thinker. The seven of swords is that cheater, that liar, right? And then I got the fool, and then the reversed sun. He feels like an idiot right now and that is that immaturity in him he can't he can't comprehend how to be mature around this situation so that's what else what i got so all right so where are my twos no, i didn't get the one I'm the oh, last. oh oh sorry alice go for it hun. okay so the first card that i got was the chariot and uh, the chariot is that uh, McCarthy is moving forward in um, uh, getting this, uh, the truth out. Because the second card was the ace of swords. And that's, he's going to, the truth is going to come out. Now, on the third card, I got the lovers. And 
that means that there's there's a communication going on there and um he's going forward and then as far as gates i got the hermit so he's going to lay low pretty quick and uh, then the last one is the five of pentacles and it's not going to go well he's going to be out in the cold going to feel sorry for himself and uh poor pity me um is going on for for mr gates that? i agree with you there alice i'm so sorry i thought you were a two or a three okay <laughs> all right <laughs> maybe i can edit my mistake out so anyways <laughs> all right so now where are my twos all right so you guys like have to keep me on track here Okay, so number two, the twos. The twos have this question. Okay, well, you know Marjorie Taylor Greene has been threatening to kick out the, the new speaker, right? She is all over the place with this. And she's just like really, really talking some crap about um, Johnson, um, hit the new speaker. I can't think of his name right now. Why can't I think of it? What is it? Mike Johnson. There he is. Uh, and so Mike Johnson heads down to Mar-a-Lago and he's he has Trump in his background. And I don't know what kind of play he's doing. I don't know why he's doing that. But I want you to read on the reason why Marjorie is not, is is talking a whole lot of crap about asking him. But then Mike Johnson goes down and talks to her God. So I'm trying to figure out what his angle is. So that's what your question is as a two. What is J Mike Johnson's angle as the reason why he went down to Mar-a-Lago? And raise your hand to whoever is ready. How many cards are we pulling? These are called mini readings when you're doing a collaboration. So I would, between three to four, I usually do past, present, future, and then an outcome. Um, if you don't get any more information out of that, I just pull a few clarifiers. You, okay, past, present, future, and what was the fourth one? The outcome. And then okay. if you need clarifiers, you can pull a couple of more cards for clarifiers on okay. your first and second card. taking notes yeah but that's how i do it but you guys mm -hmm. get to choose how you see your cards and, and pull your cards and are we doing reversals or yes please whatever it is that you get whatever it is and you get to choose you get I'm, to choose. I'm learning yep absolutely and these are your choices and that's important to know so whoever uh the two that is ready go ahead and raise your hand not yet Am I the only two? Oh, well, if you're oh. ready, honey, go for it. Oh, um, no, no. Um, our teacher, our educator. I can't. My eyeballs are bad. I can't see your name. You're ready, right? You're muted, hon. Okay. So, first card was the Seven of Cups, and you know the illusion and delusion. But I picked out the loss of control here. And promises unfulfilled. So who's he promising, right? What promises were made to him? And he's worried about maybe losing the control because I have the hermit, right? And so loss and self-pity and despair, but really a fear of risk of... Um, of uh, disappointment and dissolution as well so he's got the three of wands he's got his planning who's he planning with and we know he's getting his marching orders from right they don't call him maga moses for nothing um so he's looking on for what how he's going to what stay in the stay in the good graces of the tangerine man but his outcome card, Seven of Swords. So to me, he's got like 
when it says low self-esteem, that's what I see when I see Mike, Mad, you know, Mega Mike. That's what I see. He's got a low self-esteem, it seems like, and he's a follower and he picks the, he's kind of, it reminds me of uh, Lindsey Graham, you know, where they have that, I got to follow the big guy so that nobody picks on me, right? And he's been in the background so long and here's his chance and now he's afraid of losing it. So that's what I got for him. Uh, he's got a struggle coming up for him. He's got some trickery. That's a good word for him. So we'll see how it works out for him. Well, thank you. All right, who's mm -hmm. next? Raise your hand. Okay, go ahead, Gigi. Okay, uh, I pulled uh, four chords and one clarifier. Uh, the first chord that I got on this was the Two of Cups. And uh, the way I saw this particular card was him going down to um, Trump to kiss the ring, to tell him that he loves him and he has his loyalty. Um, the second cup was a uh, card was a King of Cups. Um, for some reason, I thought they might try to uh, strike up a deal. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it was, but it might be something monetarily, because uh, I think. Uh, Mike Johnson loves money. I think he wants uh, money out of his position. So I think he might went down, uh, went uh, to Trump to try to make a deal. The next card uh, I got was the Three of Wands. I, I got, with this card, I, I always see this as overseas. So uh, I'm thinking they might have even uh, talked about some type of Russian deal or maybe some money that was coming for overseas for them. Um, the last card that I got was the Five of Swords. So I'm thinking whatever type of um, conversation or deal they came up with, uh, Trump, you know, he doesn't really mean anything he says anyway. So I'm thinking uh, Mike Johnson is going to be uh, out in the cold and I think he's going to be defeated. The clarifying chord was uh, the sun, and I think uh, sooner or later we're going to hear about it. Something is going to come to light about Mike Johnson, and we will hear it. That's what I got. Thank you, Gigi. Very good. Um, who was else is next? Don't be shy. Raise your hand. <laughs> who was next? Is that all the um, twos? Claudia, are you a two? Yeah, there's me. I, okay. I just, um, sorry. I, in just learning this, like some of the other folks, and so I bought myself the, um, and actually you um, you had suggested this, uh, Sheila, a long time ago. So I've been following your channel for a long time. A beginner's deck that has like um, all the um, explanations and, you know, stuff on it. So um, I was just trying to read those. Okay, so the first card I pulled is the Queen of Swords. And I'm thinking maybe this is MTG. And um, I don't know, though, because I don't actually know. It doesn't seem to be a match for me because the definition for her, the the shortened version is clear boundaries, which we know she doesn't have insightful, independent, unbiased judgment, open communication, supportive and honest. And I don't think any of these apply to any of the people that we're talking about. So, um, so I, the, I get the queen of swords for uh, Marjorie Taylor green a lot. So get the, out. Yeah. So the so reason why I get the it. queen of swords is because she's using her sword to hurt people. Oh. doesn't mean yeah so there's a difference between when you when you look at all those other words when you're reading something for somebody who is sitting in front of you mm -hmm. versus reading for the political so the queen of swords she's using her sword to hurt, hurt people so that is very on um, on par for her wow that's amazing okay because that's who i thought this must be mtg and thank you for um for explaining that okay my next card um, is the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. I think this is uh, pretty interesting because um, first of all, 
uh, he's a dude wearing orange. And um, so it's it, the, it explains that he's um, a person who's um, disappointed and um, his head hangs low. And after further examination, what looks to be, uh, it uh, looks like he regrets. Um, he has regrets and exhaustion. Um, and he is finally reaping the um, result of what he has sown into the earth. Oh, my goodness. Um, so this, I think, is Mike Johnson. He is, he has taken hits probably from MTG and others. Uh, therefore, he's re reaping what he has sowed, right? And he's exhausted and he's regretful. And um, he has, the feeling I'm getting is that he has, um, he's trying to still stay in the game. Um, and so maybe he's trying to appeal to 45 by going down there and, and talking reason to him. My third card that I pulled is the nine of pentacles and, um, oh, I'm check. the nine of pentacles. And so I think this is Trump because, um, nine of pentacles is abundance, luxury, um, material security. Yeah. Greed. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I, I think I think each one of these um, kind of really does fit with the three characters that we're talking about, the three human characters. And um, so I, I, yes, Marjorie's trying to stab with her sword. Johnson is regretful and he's feeling the fallout from some of the crap shenanigans he's pulled. And he's gone to Mar-a-Lago to talk to um, the nine of pentacles, 45, um, for, uh, his, um, you know, his, to reward his efforts in some ways to appease the, the, um, to appease the master. Exactly. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, so now we have the threes. We're going, who ha who's a three? Anna, did you, uh, you're a three, three, how many, three, three, three. And I know, Leslie, you're still here. So you have your three. All right. So the, th the, th the threes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> the threes. The threes one is, so Trump all week long, I mean, he put forth at least 10 tr uh, tries to delay, uh, to avert, to do something so that his criminal trial would not start on Monday. All of them have failed, right? Now we're thinking, I, the first thing I thought, you know, Danny, I don't know if it was Danny or I, or somebody and I, where we were sitting there, we're texting back and forth. I'm like, I wonder who's going to get sick, right? <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, he's going to have to do something. Uh, but I want you to read on, the, all Monday is, they start, jury they start selecting a jury uh and so he has to be there for that he has to watch the jury selection he has to watch them um, ask them questions that he has to, he has to sit there for the whole thing uh so they have jury selection starting on monday so now i need to know how i want you to read uh now that we know for a fact it's going to start on monday what is the direction what how much shenanigans is there going to be a stop? Is there going to be, you know what I mean? Let's look into the, uh, see the little bit of a future or the layout of that uh, trial. I sent you a, Sheila, I sent you a little note. I see that. You're more okay. than welcome. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. All right. So whoever has their, their cards down, raise your hand. Whoever has their cards up first. 
Go ahead, Angela. There we go. First, I got the Eight of Wands. The swords are going to be going back and forth. I mean, they're they're going to be information and arguing, going back and forth like crazy. Of course, I got him and right behind that, which means he's going to be the one throwing all the barbs. Then I got the high priestess in reverse. He's going to try to throw her off. And then I got the princess of cups as a qualifier from priestess. She's dotting her eyes and counting every little thing. Every little thing he says, they're taking note of it. So he's he's put it on trial much more than they are. That's what I got. Thank you. Your audio is a little jet, um, a little broken up, but I think we got what you said. All right, who's next, Leslie? Okay. So it's interesting when you said, as soon as you said what we were reading on, I wrote down health crisis, fake health crisis for pity. Um, the first card I got, and again, this is the first time I'm even looking at these, and I got the cheat cards too that like show, <laughs> but I got the eight of swords in reverse. So from what I know of the eight of swords, just from the image on it is someone in bondage with swords around them. It's how he feels mentally imprisoned but because it's reversed it's i feel like it's for for everyone else because it's the beginning of awakening release from constraints break free from bondage freedom and justice so it's like how we can now feel that he's coming into justice is how i read that um the second one i got was judgment in reverse um, and this is how I feel like he's going to project because it's misinterpretation, misjudgment, lack of clear judgment, overly critical, lack of spiritual life, refuse to make a decision. So it's how he presents himself, how he's so burdened, how he's persecuted, how everyone is going against him. So it's to me how he's going to try to present what's happening to him. Interestingly, the third one I got were the lovers upright so uh, i i started looking at the image on it and what came to me was how he's going to try in some way to make people love him again so when i look at like the the top the image on the card has like you know the angel above with their arms open which is really kind of how he sees himself well, like god and how he, like, I'm going to oversee everything and make all these people love me. And maybe that's what he thinks he could do to the jurors. Um, so, and then the last one I got, the outcome, were the King of Pentacles. And again, I've never looked at any of these cards before. So, um, self-control, steady, enterprising, pragmatic, industrialist. That's how he sees himself. I don't see... He sits, he's sitting there like he's winning. Um, and and he might. He he may convince that jury that, you know, he should win and he might. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger oh things have happened, right? <laughs> I, I find that hilarious, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean you're right. There's always that possibility. <laughs> I mean, we, we all thought nothing, you know, alternative facts became the truth yeah. however many years. Or so like, you know, the truth yeah. isn't the truth anymore. So that is absolutely true. Um, there, there is, there is that possibility that he might be able to convince 12 people that he's a good guy. <laughs> That's still <kind> of funny. <laughs> Good luck in New York, Mister. Exactly. New York. <laughs> exactly. All right. So I think Anna, are you ready? Honey, you're muted. 
Ok. Am I done now? Ok. I am doing with the cheating one. Ok. So I am doing five card. The first one will be the signifier that it will be the progress, what you asked, progress in terms of his uh, intentions or of delaying. And what I got was the Harafan reverse. And in this case, the Harafan I was seeing, it was the, the whole court issue, no? Or the government. But it says that it's a foolish exercise uh, it, and he is vulnerable, but I, I am choosing to say foolish exercise if he's trying to delay. Then in the past, the, or the root of the issue will be the Ten of Swords, which will mean for me he's defeated on that intentions. Uh, he's growing, there is a failure, but also he will, sh he will show himself as very insolent. No surprise there. And then in the past of this attempt, I got temperance reverse, another major arcana. And it says that in the past he has created this court, this, this, this union conflict in page in patient, but that is in the past of his attempt. The four uh is energy surrounding this issue of attempting of delays. And the fourth is also another major arcana, the sun, which means that the, the truth is going to come out, which is the issue of the, of the court, no? And the court will prevail, showing the truth. And then the outcome will be the fifth is, uh, oops, Seven of Wands, reverse. Seven of, oops, I'm sorry. I don't know how to do with the camera here. But the Seven of Wands says that is obstacles, ignorance, and pretense. Which mean for me when I read as, as the whole is that he will continue trying to attempt that. But the sun, it says, no way, we are going to prevail but as an outcome, we, we might have some issues with obstacles. Uh, I've been seeing some other YouTube, and what I've been hearing is that he will try to create a show, and he will be maybe taken out of court, but that will be maybe his attempt, as opposed to him being becoming sick, Maybe the obstacles when he sees that all his attempts are failing will be creating a show. I agree with you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I was thinking maybe a lawyer was going to be sick or something along that lines because Trump would never put out there that he's sick because that would be considered weakness um, to his people. Absolutely. All right, Sherry. May I, oh, may I ask something? Oh, of course, honey. Uh, Sheila, when you get in this case, I got three major arcana. Mm -hmm. Temperance, even though reverse, sun, and the hierophant. Mm -hmm. So the major um, arcana mean, it, it just means it's high profile. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, spirits involved, you know what I mean? It reminds us of that. So the, the major arcana just makes, it just really screams, this is going to be big, huge, and life-changing uh for everybody who was involved so that's what that's what it would say yeah. i think you were you were dead on honey mm -hmm. with your with your cards all right sherry okay i'm ready i think so i did the four but on the third one which would be future i discovered there was one underneath my other card so that's interesting so I'm looking at my book and I kind of have the easy ones that say things, but it doesn't have the inverted. So all of them came upside down except one, the magician. So the two of wands and I'm looking at my book cause I'm a baby. Um, this is hesitance regarding plans or disorganization. 
That makes sense in the past. And then in the present, we have Ace of Wands upside down. Which I'm a baby, so I'm looking at my book here. Oh, let's see here. Two of those, two of ones. Well, I'm not seeing that. Okay, so long. Oh, what I really fun. would love for you to do is pick uh -huh. up a card and tell me what it makes you feel. Instead of okay. going here, go here. Okay. Go here. What okay. does two of wands make you feel? What is what's the first thing that comes to your head? What what what's the first word? Well, it says short journey. I but, mean that would make sense. The two of the two of wands, wands are doing something. And mm -hmm. there's two of wands meaning there's a choice. So if you pick up the two of wands as doing something, what does that make you feel like or think about when you like there's a two of wands, there's decisions to be made. And so when you're thinking about Trump and then in the, the whole thing, so when you have that, you go to the, he's making decisions. What are the decisions is he going to make? Bad, good, bad, good, bad, good. What do you think he's trying to do? How much chaos he can cause. Correct. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now you're there. So now yeah. pick up the second card and tell me what the okay. second card makes you feel. King of Wands. King of Wands, another doing, another ar ar arcana. So I would say that Trump is going to do what? What? What's the first word that comes to you? Just literally blurt it out. Don't think about it. Just say it. Uh, you, Discord? Yep. King of Wands. What's the first word that comes out of your mouth? What, what is the first thing you think of when you pick it up? More chaos. So the king... The, the, choice, the choices, he's making choices of how he's going to create the chaos. He, the king is going to create most of the chaos, right? And he's going to go mm -hmm. after that judge like crazy, right? So you have now two mm -hmm. things of who's he's going to go after, the choices and stuff like that. So what's the third card? He's the king of chaos. Am I right? Two of cups upside down. The wow. two of cups is emotions. So the lack of emotion, the lack of awareness, the lack of emotional intelligence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See where we're yeah, going. It, this so, says it's peace of mind. It's upside down. And if it's two people kind of looking like they're working together, they're hand in hand. So with it being upside down, he's to me, that work would work be the other. opposite. He's not going to work with anybody, right? Correct. Good, good. And yeah. then under that, I discovered there is the magician. And that's the only card that came up upright. What Element is, of surprise, good or bad. Do? What does a magician yeah. do? More ma more of Trumpy magic. He's going to try, but out. he's not going to succeed, right? Yep. He's going to try, but he's not going to succeed. There you go. Exactly. And then in the clarifiers, in the fourth one is Ten of Cups. Happiness, good things. Everybody looks happy, but he's not going to be happy. It's upside down again. Well, the ten, yeah. yeah, the ten, the ten of cups is 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 where he is going. He wants everybody to suffer. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. The ten of cups come up. It was supposed to be happy, but upside down. Even if I got it right side up, that's exactly how I would take. He wants to take everybody. I mean, he is in revenge mode. Mm -hmm. So when we're, we're we know the subject that we're doing on, so you got the ten of cups and it's reversed. So he now mm -hmm. wants to make everybody suffer. Mm -hmm. He wants to make everybody as miserable as he is. Yeah. Yeah. And we are when we're dealing with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. All right. Thank you, everyone. I just don't want that video to be too overly long. But I appreciate everybody. Now um, you guys have a feeling of what it feels like. Did everybody read? I got everybody on there, right? Everybody read. Okay. Um I am. But anyways, uh, everybody gets a collective feeling. Everybody has a, a when you when you put on the spot where your intuition comes from. That's more important is to practice where your intuition is coming from. It's not coming from your thoughts. It's not coming from your direct emotional, you know, mm -hmm. here. It is coming from a different 
place when you're when you're listening to spirit when you're listening to the guides and stuff like that so always remember that it's not normal information or not, not a normal port of, of entry let's put it that way it's not it's coming from a different spot so always take a deep breath and and just relax and remember that the information that comes in uh did you just say it like when i do my remote views i know i probably will feel and look like a crazy person but i'm like i don't care Spirit has a reason why it's telling me that this looks blue or that looks red or their person's doing this. And the the audience understands more than what I am saying. You know what I mean? They hear something that 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 they need to hear. So so that's where we want to make sure that we are relaxed and we have that and and and, and there's no wrong way to do it. There's no wrong way of doing it. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And we're going to end this uh, video. And I hope everybody who was watching enjoy this. And if there's any YouTube channels, go follow them. Um, all of that great and wonderful stuff. So everybody say bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And thank you, Sheila. Thanks. Love everybody. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.